Hello guys, long time no video. Welcome to a uh, casual TV2 on the awarded war mod and we are watching J Dudes. He's got a regular squad as Germany and is teaming up with Panzer from South Korea. He's got an elite marksman squad and they are fighting the British Commonwealth and the team is Kirby with an assault squad. And on the east we have Buba as an assault squad. Thinks he's a funny guy with that nickname. He's going to the northern eastern point. So it looks like Kirby will be fighting off J Dudes in the center, regular, with the regular versus the assault squad. Not a very good map, I think, for regulars because of the walls blocking. The MG won't be having a clear fire raid range, and also the rifles pretty much will have to fight in SMG range. So hopefully, we'll see a lot of action as this map is known to be. Very action packed with all the close range engagements due to the buildings. MG being pushed up really far by J Dudes. Bit dangerous. Ooh, lots of flank though from this other assault squad, or oh, regular squad leader. And a grenade nearly finishes, finishes him off, but he runs away in time. So, Booba, unopposed on, to the, on the eastern descent. I don't know who that is actually. He's the only player I don't know. Maybe he's under alias. And he's captured. Uh, all the left. Looks like Panzer is pushing up on his end. Ooh, interesting smoke usage from Panzer. Not sure what that was for. And a few Panzer Grens in four positions. Shooting out with Kirby, who is building sandbags in interesting positions. Taking a leaf out of Hansi's book for some reason. And there's a stone wall here. A few barrels. Lots of uh, walls over there too. Just, uh, just likes these uh, sandbags, like Hansi. AT rifle from Kirby. And they're going to be waltzing into the Panzer Grenadier Elite Marksman for some reason. Unfortunately, not a great, great purchase for this time. And he's trying to AP snipe this guy for some reason. <laughs> oh no, it's not going to work out well. It's in DC, so he's definitely made that decision. It wasn't the AI trying to do that? It was Kirby uh, trying to do a somersault backflip and triple, never triple turn. Extra difficulty score on that uh, kill, it uh, doesn't make it. That's his reasoning anyway, that's I think it was. Booba, now gonna push into this area to infest. JD has a few guys waiting for, to defend uh, the infestation, that's good. Center is being capped as well by JD, so he's managed to wrestle that off Kirby. And he's got that MG42 in firing range. Kind of a nice little picturesque palm tree. So casual game, these guys aren't the top players in the scene. I usually cover the top players, but this is a uh, more casual one. Haven't got many replays recently. Not many people have been playing. Same as well as the tournament's been on hold due to uh, having trouble organizing the game due to the time zones and also the schedules of Hansi and Tedessa. <laughs> so we just to see uh, how this goes too. Just 2v2, we haven't really seen the award at Walmart being played 2v2 in, I guess, a competitive setting on a competitive map. It's usually mostly team games are 4v4, 3v3, to be honest. And yeah, it definitely needs to be tested more due to the next tournament definitely being on the award at Walmart due to the alliances that DMS has, DMS has, um, has announced that they're going to release the next patch which will allow you to play possibly potentially uh, multiple nations per team. Uh, a few, <laughs> few guys are stuck in the swarm but here's a looks by, not looks, this is a flamingo from J Dudes. Two, point, two pointer special from the German team. Comes at the one SP timer and it is quite lightweight as you can see. Just gets knocked out by the house. It's probably just the house, that entity is a bit uh, funny. And uh, looks like waiting there. Booba with an assault squad SMG guy with an AT grenade. Not too sure how effective it will be on this map, especially due to the amount of infestation Booba has. Now this one's a bit of a situational unit in my opinion. It's very expensive for its worth to be honest. But it allows Germany to really push up at the start if they want to spend their specials, but at the expense of later uh, specials. But actually, the, probably the, one of the better flame tanks in the game, due to the dual flamer and also the armor of the Panzer 
Panzer 1 is more heavier and it's faster as well than the SSD. Oh no, Booba, AT grenade, bam, <laughs> takes it out, unfortunately. Not, uh, not an easy map to navigate these vehicles due to all the areas they can ambush. Reservists from Booba coming in, playing uh, British Comp as the UK, kind of like, um, so yes, yeah, pressuring with lots of infantry, buying low tier, keep, keeping keeping up the pressure. Looks like the AT weaponry of the sorry the Olicon weaponry has been destroyed from by Panzer. He's got a Panzer right there. Six Panzer laying in wait, not taking a shot. It does have a shot. Boom! Finally has taken out that uh, Panzer 3J. Mm, nice movement by Panzer though. Interesting to see him go all the way up to the swamp. But here comes a potential AT grenade from the Panzer Grenadier. Let's see if Panzer can take it. Oh, nice movement by Kirby. Quickly. Yep. Uh, blocks that grenade. Reinforcements of the King's African Rifles as well from Kirby. And the M3 Grant. Ooh, interesting. Not a bad tank on uh, this map. I guess it's less opportunities to be tracked, in my opinion, due to the buildings. And its armor is pretty good. And it has those dual guns um, that can do damage at close range. Ooh. It looks moving back from J Dudes. <coughs> wow. I, I thought I had no cough until just then. Because I haven't really been casting a game for two weeks and pretty much not been talking uh, often, so. I didn't have to come, but here's the Panzer Trek. Oh, it's a gravestone. Fortunately. And this is quite unfortunate that these guys have to live around the graveyard. There's houses surrounding it. It's not like, it's like a courtyard where people meet for this community to, to you know, to discuss, uh, yeah, discuss what they're going to eat tonight they, amongst the gravestones. Interesting positioning, I guess. <laughs> The person designing this map didn't consider the people living in the houses. Talking shit. M3 Grant. Now, has a view of the roadway. It's a pretty decent position to be in, in my opinion. It can't really be flanked, only if a guy flanks all the way here, but can quite e easily be spotted. Very nice position by Booba, I must say. Uh, he's holding on to his uh, flag there, just with the skin of his teeth. The center still held by J-Dudes. MD-42 locking it down. Looks as well between the southern and center. Takes out a few King's African rifles. Six Panda is trying to reposition itself. Kirby. Oh, nasty King's African. We're just hanging out in the bushes, you know. Just, just taking it easy. <laughs> They're forced to come to the war by their British masters. They just want to take a break, you know. And just slaughtered by the looks 20 mil. That's what you get for taking breaks, I guess. And a shot from the six pounder. Wow, that's an interesting shot. Just, wow, that was really lucky, hey. Look at that little gap it went through, it took out the looks. Now this this uh, game should be quite close. Um, I, th I think. Booba seems pretty good. Otherwise, the other three players who I know are quite evenly matched. Here's the mortar out by Kirby. Decent choice in this map, I think, because of the buildings, obviously, you can shoot over them. And the new mortars, I'm interested to see how they go. I haven't actually had a chance to see how they go in, in a proper game yet, <laughs> since the last patch, which uh, changed them to be firing in succession. Five, five or six rounds, I think it was five rounds I changed it to, or six. And then a long reload in between, just so it will be more consistent in taking out targets. Oh, J-Dudes, nice grenade. But interesting buy from the Indian pattern carrier. Uh, we'll do the job, I guess, for now. We'll take out these units. And wow. This is a pack 43 buy. This is interesting. It's not a special call anymore. It's 800 MP. <laughs> this is Panda to a T. Very unorthodox. Uh, doesn't go by any meta, but this is the problem. Why is he... Wow, okay. A bit overkill? It's like... Wow. Jesus. It's like you're going to a... <laughs> going to go to a fight. Oh, M3 Grant, easily taken out by Fax 43, of course. Damn. Okay. <laughs> like bringing a nuclear bomb to a, to a fist fight. Jesus. 
Panzer um, using the truck again to tow it away, potentially go. I think the only position for the Pack 43 will be here. That'll be good. Or right, maybe here, I don't know. Just all the way down, cover this spawn even. That'll be nice. It looks like he's going to move it away back into safety. Very interesting. Mortar is coming, I think. Is the is that the mortar round? I only heard one shell. Oh no, here he goes. He's targeting somewhere else. Oh, is that the Piat? That's the Piat. Trying to AP or trying to s rocket snipe this machine gunner. Boom. Oh, doesn't uh, hits before it. Doesn't take him out. Just knocks him out. The 7 to 37, the German team is in the lead so far. Panzer's lost his forward positioning. Looks like another King's. Oh, looks like the Afri uh, the Australian rats, the deserts. Not the deserts, the rats at Tobruk. Holding that southern point. Now, where's that sniper posi positioning? And this is the standard one, I guess. <laughs> J Dude with his sniper onto this building. Getting pinned down, lots of fire on it. Not doing too much, I guess. Uh, needs a bit more troops around the areas to to divert the fire away from the sniper, so the sniper can do its job. But it's relocating now. Spotted again. Now going back up. What's happening here? I'm hearing bombardment. I think the wow. Okay, I missed that. Sorry. How is that? Is that artillery? Oh, it is too. <laughs> Unless the pack 43. Wow, it's trying to take out the pattern carrier. It's lost the wheel. Let's so see the pack 43. Boom. <laughs> yep, this is overkill. This is definitely overkill. It's uh, maybe too. Yeah, this is the problem with heavy 80 guns versus light vehicles or weaker t vehicles. They're just harder to hit because they're not that accurate. They take a long time to reload, and yep, there he goes. Finally. And J Dude's now with the assault squad going to the northern eastern point. And 2 to 2 from J Dude's now rolling to the eastern northern with an assault squad. I'm gonna try get some more flags. I've got three already, and it's probably time to to try another flag just to mix it up a bit, surprise the enemy, and potentially make a breakthrough. Which is going to try to. Sniper is now doing okay, but gets knocked down by something. What knocked down that building? That was glorious. That's a Bren carrier over here. 222 has cleaned up the Anzac squad. No, this isn't the Anzac squad. Yeah, it is. So the assault squad is the Anzac squad now. Ah, the Long Tom. Long Tom is clearing out. Is that the Long Tom? Actually, no, it's not, is it? That's the one below it. What's it called? Can't remember. Let's just change to their team. Huh? Can I change to them? Yes. Okay, that is the BL-45, 600 MP, 114 millimeter. Now 222, just uh, escaped getting hit, I think. SMG guy trying to chase it down. <coughs> Playing it very well, keeping it on the move. Would have liked to see a pattern carrier versus a 222 duel. It does have the boys' AT rifle, which uh, will do well versus the 222. For a much cheaper price at 150 MP, I think it is. I think it's a lot cheaper, actually. What is it? 140 MP, even cheaper. And it's extremely maneuverable. And here is a Sherman 76, has taken out the 2 to 2. This is the M4A1 version. Slightly cheaper than the USA version. But the armor is only 51. And the turret has been fixed, by the way, in the last patch, so you can destroy the turret and gun. There was a bug where you couldn't. Oh, here comes the Pack 43. He's actually been quite useful. The artillery counter hasn't worked so far. Let's see if Kirby can now take out this uh, truck. It's actually quite an easy target to hit. Looks like the artillery's firing over here, though. Unfortunately, it's a bit of a waste of a salvo. Should be waiting in wait basically for that Pack 43 to fire, then as soon as it fires, salvo onto it. The truck, uh, yeah, definitely an easy target to hit by any HE shell that lands close will just explode everything. And here's a Panzer III from J Dudes. I'm gonna follow up on that, finish off that uh, Sherman perhaps. 
Sherman is repairable. Six pounder in the distance. Two six pounders, one from each play, I'm guessing, yep. <coughs> BL45, what's it doing? Six pounders are laying in wait. Two of them now, it's definitely not gonna survive. Survive two shells. Next one, wow, it's survived four shells. But now it's actually capturable. If they stop firing. Yep, they both stop firing, I think. And this is actually an undamaged P3. So just got its crew lost, unfortunately, for the German team. Now that's a free P3 for the British Commonwealth team. Panzer. With a paratrooper squad. Now we'll capture this back. So quite a few improvements as well from the Germans in the last few patches. Let's take a look at it again for you guys just tuning in. Oh, bloody hell. Mortar's going good. Pack 43, did it just take out the 6 pounder? It did too. I think it just decrewed it from over here. That uh, BL-45 I think is going to train on it. You can see it moving. Let's see this uh, salvo on that Pack 43. Boom. Ooh. Next one hit the truck, perhaps. Oh, yes it does. Has decrewed it. Uh, no cake though. I think that's done. No more shells. Oh, that's definitely the last shell. I think it's six. I've counted. Um, maybe I can't count. That's definitely the last shell. Okay, good. I called it for third time lucky. I sent it though, has been captured by the Australian rats. Also taking back the flag. Another 2 to 2 out from J Dudes. Trying to clear up this flag. Six pounders not moving to a firing position. Where are they? I think this one's being. No, it's not even being crewed. Interesting. <coughs> so it's keeping the pressure on very strong, Mr. J Dudes. So yeah, while we're on the German screen, we can see that they have the Elite Commander. It's uh, not a, probably not a map for it. It's a map, it's a unit for when there's a map where there's a lot of, lot of uh, empty space where you can just see straight down to spawn. Looks like an officer. I think it has about double radius. Don't uh, quote me on that. It's a lot bigger. Now I've got a half tractor to towed back. Pack 43 does escape. Panzer 3 still not being captured by the by the British Commonwealth team. It definitely can do so. Mortar. Let's see what's the score like. Pack 43 has done very well. Interesting. Here's a nibble worker from J Dudes. Interesting buy. Bit scary when there's a BL um, 14 out. Bloody amazing. Bloody amazing. Not sure about that buy. Looks like they're going to try now assault. Assault the east and northern. Far flank. Only a few guys guarding. One assault squad leader plus SMG. What's coming? Just a reserve squad, but uh, a few grenades over that. Stonewall will be able to take it. Also coming in the background. Oh, a nice micro from from uh, Panzer. I should be able to get it with that assault squad push from the flanks. Wow, well, overkill as well. I think the Artie's even trained on them. That's nuts. <laughs> Oh shit, there's a there's one guy guarding the point. Get some Artie support, we need Artie support. It's overkill there, and now that Artie support is gonna kill his own teammate. Interesting play. Very, very interesting. <laughs> Sorry to say this guys, but that that's that's uh you pretty much took a book out of the noob tutorial, do not do. It's uh definitely yeah biggest mistake. 
even buying RT, but I guess in, in the world of War mod, you can buy RT for you new players watching, but in default, it's pretty much not worth the price if you want to play properly. And interesting, the Germany team, German team does have a lot of vehicles up for grabs, pretty much. Uh, take what you want for the British Commonwealth, take my units. Ooh, what's this? Panzerschreck. Oh, nice. Wow, lucky t t two. Survives that, just main gun. And it's gonna keep him going. Wow, it's going on a rampage, isn't it? Nice driving though, through the city streets. Avoiding all the buildings. Oh, wow, bad luck. Hit some weird angle right there. By the way, this is not a mod thing. This is not change at all. It's a default um, thing. I don't know, I know you people might complain about it. Say, Strat, the mod's unrealistic. Ugh. No, I didn't do anything to it. It's the same thing right there. It's just how the tip through armor is. It's a bit glitchy, I think. Or it might be realistic. I have no idea what will happen if a Panzer Shrek in real life uh, hits a side, a little side angle of a 2 2. It does have many angles. <coughs> I've seen 2 2 2's bounce. Wow. Uh, I've seen 2 2 2's bounce uh, like 88mm shells at certain angles. <laughs> the lucky save from that looks. And here's the nibble being targeted by the BL-45. No, it's not. Maybe it's out of range. It's just firing a bit before it. As that was uh, definitely the juiciest target to hit for the British Commonwealth. Brand Carrier. Seventy-seven, fifteen. <laughs> wow, what the hell? Ah, uh, six pounder has uh, yeah taken out that uh, looks. I just think six pounder usage has been pretty good. Fifty score just below the pack. Forty-three, eighty guns are uh, doing well in this uh, matchup. Wow. What the hell is that? Oh, a Hummel? What? Panzer bought a Hummel? <laughs> Seeing every sort of unit these days. It's a different kind of meta. So now I've got that six pounder and that uh, mortar. And here's the four point of Churchill. MK4. Nice desert camo on it. And also the M4A176 is being repaired. Panzer III still not being uh, captured. Nebo has hit nothing. Ooh, nearly took out that P3. Now the Britcoms do have the advantage of three flags. 2277, start ticking up. Pack 43 on that Churchill. Can definitely penetrate it. Let's see what happens. Ooh, misses. Let's see the Pack 43 shot. Boom! Main gun turreted. Need to back away, see if it can escape. Potentially not. It does hit the hole. It's all over. It's a very strong. Uh, what gun? What gun is it? It's 88, isn't it? I think it's more than that. So, yeah, it is 88. Now, this is being repositioned. Olicon behind that building. And try secure, hold the center. Decent position, trying to hide behind the buildings. Maybe a few arty shells will just hit the building before it hits the uh, Olicon. I can see reasoning behind his positioning. Uber. Jaded's for a Hummel shot on the 20mm, I'm guessing. Let's have a look. Oh, <laughs> it hits the roof, knocks out the crew. Another one hits the building in front. The hell? Did I hear a... That's a 76. Ta is that the Vet Tiger? Oh, Vet Tiger's already out. It's 24 minutes in, Jesus. It's already this far. Hummel has taken the Olicon. And now it looks like Booba's going to try and make a play on that veteran Tiger. Center has been gone. Has, he's gone to Germany again. He's tracked. 
in an okay position. The Sherman, I dare say, can't penetrate it from here. We'll need to go all the way. Well, we can't. We'll have to go really close, to be honest. I don't know what it can do at this stage. Oh, no. Nibble has taken the six banner. Decrewed the mortar. Still alive. And for A176 being a bit cheeky. I don't like its chances, to be honest. It's going to die very soon if it doesn't. Might as well try 50-50 or back away. So, yeah, that building's not going to stop the target. Here comes a shot. Wow, it's got the pack 43 on it too. That's nasty. Two 88s. The 88, uh, 40, the 88, uh, one KWK 36. The other 88 is, uh, 43. Yeah, KWK 43, obviously, because it's called pack 43. Same caliber, different gun. And also, one's got extra range. The 43 does have 10 extra range, if I'm not mistaken. Trying to get lucky with the arty. What the hell, Piat? Where was that Piat from? Where was that Piat from? Ah, uh, sorry guys. <laughs> Tiger just got taken out by Piat. The arty's not having much luck on the Pack 43 though. Sherman, now in risk of getting Panzer Shrek. Here comes JD for a shot. Well, it's moving in again. The rubble. Uh, ooh, it's uh, not an easy shot. Now it might have cleared up. Misses it entirely. He tries to aim, unfortunately. Coming in for again for another shot. No, it's dead. Lucky bastard. Nice rocket salvo from the nibble. <coughs> so yeah, I'm quite happy with the balance so far in 1v1s. Um, I know some of you guys think certain nations are OP, but I, in my opinion, I think you just need to play more um, certain cases. There have there has been a lot of patches since the first tournament game, so you're basing your opinion on on your thoughts previous to, I guess, the last few patches. Then, yeah, please do look again, because yeah, there's been lots of nerfs um, for to certain nations like Finland. I personally don't think Finland is very good at all now in 1v1s. They're very situational. In 2v2s, I think they will be. That's a whole other story of balance, to be honest, which will be a constant work in progress. Which is uh, the way it should be. Because if you, yeah, if you really think you know balance by just patching it once every now and then, you'll never get it right. You have to keep working on it because it's a very complex thing. Especially the amount of nations involved. Definitely, uh, <laughs> definitely needs uh, needs dedication and someone to to really really consider and play a lot to to do. Which, uh, yeah, this is this is why the mod was made just for just for that. So uh, it can be balanced. So anyway, any suggestions you want to put in, please do. It's, uh, it's always listened to. I am going to be taking out the chemicals. I, after feedback, and I personally as well do add it, it there just to test and a bit of a novelty thing, and it just doesn't work properly. If you have any suggestions on what to replace it with for France, like what could add to France as a special unit, I don't want to just add something generic. I just need something to to make it uh, more, maybe a bit more varied, maybe a howitzer tank, that perhaps that might be the, the option to do, and how it's a tank. And also for the Japanese uh, one, which is the three-pointer uh, three special. So, B6 pounder. Sorry, I haven't been really watching what's going on. You probably know more about the game uh, in the last few minutes. But here's a G versus the six pounder. Wow, it's getting so lucky. Boom, crew engine. J dudes. Oh, lucky bounce. J dudes will return. Oh, he's not even he's not even firing. He's given up on this uh, Panzer G. Ah, artillery instead. Oh, it's taking out the G, but the more the Hummel. 
thought that was bought by Panzer. Must have gave it away. Pack 43, 105. Jeez, I didn't know how effective it could I kind of couldn't imagine seeing it being seeing it so effective when he bought it. Hummel chills, still trying to take out that six pounder. Not having any luck. Royal Arty from Booba. Wow, this is going this is turning out to be a bit of an Arty fest, isn't it? Arty from Kirby here. Arty again from Kirby. And two two twenty five pounders from Booba. By the way, I don't think this is a. Uh, this will be uh, rep highly representative of what the meta will be like in the tournament. Because again, these guys um, aren't aren't really tournament players. They're they're in the competitive community. They can maybe go against up against them, but they're not definitely not the uh, the top tier. So this mod is definitely balanced for for that. You'll see with a lot of top tier players that the pressure is a lot more fast. The game is a lot more faster. Which tends to tends to not make RT useful. Though, yet again, who knows? Who knows in 2v2 in this mod? But from my experience in team games in this mod, RT is useful, but not that crazy useful to you by four. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, look at that. Counter RT. It's totally different. Look at that salvo, I want to just get one Hummel. Boom! Take all those out. 91, 40, 44. The Hummel is actually the perfect unit to have right now to counter Artie. I think the Nibble Wolf just went down to the Artie, but here's the Hummel from JDoots. Let's see what it can do. I'm gonna counter Artie. One miss. Boom! Takes out one. Probably a bad buy from Booba. Oh. Takes the other one. Oh, there's the other one. There's, there goes your six special points, baby. See, that's what you get for not buying the right unit. <laughs> Clear mistake there. Kirby. Nice shell from uh, J Dudes. Kirby not firing. But he's a veteran. Tiger, I think it's been repaired. This is the same one as before. Unfortunately for Team Britcoms, it doesn't bode too well. Is it an officer? Huh. Booba buying an officer. Doesn't have too much rain. <laughs> but to be honest, not the most useful unit in a map like this, where it doesn't have clear vision. Unless the buildings get destroyed. Though it does uh, minus the CP away, so this will allow uh, Booba to field more units. Lots of emplacements out though from Brit comms, which is quite dangerous. Especially with the Hummel out, but the Hummel does have too many targets in my opinion. It's got that, that, that. I guess uh, they're safe because, yeah, it's just too much for the Hummel to kill. Better in Tiger. Cool challenger out from Booba. Oh, what the hell? He tracks the vet Tiger. <laughs> Kills the the truck behind, nearly takes it to pack 40. Hummel's actually going for the actually going for the challenger. Interesting play. And the RT of Britcom looks like it looks like it is uh, being trained on that veteran tiger as well. Boom. Fortunately that Hummel Going for the wrong unit, I think. Oh, it's tracked as well. The Cooter. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. Bad luck. I was in a position where the Tiger was frontal facing, and I think it may have been able to penetrate. Here's an Ostwin. Six pounder in an interesting position. The Tiger can't fight it. It's very cool. Nice position by Kirby, using the buildings as a bit of protection. So the downside of having placements in this map is because it doesn't have much to shoot at but if you position them right as we've seen in the previous tournaments they can really cover an area just gotta know where to put it to exp where you're gonna expect the enemy to come though it can be useless I guess if the enemy avoids that pit area oh what the hell oh that was lucky ah 
Tiger doing well. Pack 43 is still king of the field. 105 in score. Hummel's actually come back after taking out all those units. Panzer swapping a few units around. Pack 43 still alive and is going to run away. Artie is not having much luck countering that Pack 43. And really, they have no infantry. Look at the field. The Germans have collapsed in infantry power. Veteran Tiger. Yeah, I think, in my opinion, I think Germany in a 2v2 is really good. Like, I would, I would like to see him teamed up. If I was in the tournament, I might always have Germany, because I really think the 7SP Veteran Panther or Veteran Tiger are, are just really great to have for a tank player like myself. And then my ally would go some sort of pressure nation as Axis. There's not really many Axis pressure nations, is there? What Axis nation will fit? Maybe even Finland. Yeah, Finland and Germany would probably be the best. Um, one can feel the infantry pressure, or hold the infantry pressure. Though, though it's a different kind of Finlanders are the pressure of the infantry in mid-game with the Tawny squad. Before that, they actually struggled to hold with infantry due to the numbers. Uh, I don't know, to be honest. But I, I think Germany is definitely uh, going to be one of my choices, especially the Germany in the awarded war mod, because they have so many options. Hungary, hmm, Hungary and Germany, potentially, to be honest, Hungary actually has the Taz, veteran Taz, which is 7 special points too, maybe Hungary will be a good choice instead of Germany too, hmm, I, I got a feeling though this elite commander will be so good though, in 2v2s, then you have, what else do you got Japan, Japan's not bad, in pressure, still not great to be honest, uh, Piat, you know, he takes out the Vet Tiger. Oh wow, the hell? Oh, come on, Viva. He's using the Jutsuka trick. Okay, guys, if you're watching, look at that. That That's the that's exploit, so if this is a tournament game, instant ban. So this is what, how you lost, uh, Mr. J Dudes. If this game, if you lose this game, this is pretty much it. You don't, uh, not counted. <laughs> you lost the glitches. Oh, Fact 43 gets taken out by Panzer 3. Wow. Lucky. Maybe Beeper is Jutska. I don't know. He would have done better, in my opinion. Jutska would have been in this form by now. That doesn't give up from J Dudes. So it's a, I guess it's a GG. So I'm giving the win to Germany due to the exploits. So I saw that, so I couldn't see the Renault Tiger getting hit last time, because it was shot from all the way back somewhere. Huh. Dodgy dodgy. So yeah, Japan, Germany, I don't know. I still don't, I don't know about that. Potentially, Japan's got better pressure. Yeah, maybe, maybe try that, I don't know. To be honest, it's just too hard to, to think about the combos at this stage. I think it's uh, definitely going to be game. Goliath being charged in, biking. So I'm going to call it. <coughs> um, so yep, uh, hopefully the tournament will be played soon. Uh, Hans is being really busy and pretty much the reason why it's so hard to organize Russia versus Australia is because both players have to stay up at weird times. So one player has to wake up like 6am in the morning and the other player has to stay up till like 12 o'clock midnight and then in addition to that, we need a USA host from USA West, which will have to wake up early too. And that's one of the hardest parts too, because uh, we don't have many USA West hosts. So again, guys, if you know anyone from USA West, I think that's where LA is, etc. That, uh, is it USA West? Yeah, yeah it's USA West. Uh, yeah, we definitely need hosts for tournaments. And also anyone interested in organizing tournaments in the future or helping admining 
feel free to put your hand up. I uh, because I do want to participate in tournaments and I can't really do that if I'm organizing and admitting which is a bit of a conflict of interest. Um, also just wanted to say I am looking forward to some new games. Uh, Total War Warhammer should be out shortly. Looking forward to that. Hearts of Iron. Uh, five? Or five? Four? Or five? I can't remember. Should be out uh, shortly too. And what else am I looking forward to? There's also Gates of Hell and Soldiers Arena. I'm looking forward to. Not too sure how they'll turn out, but uh, looking forward to something new. And also there's this new space, uh, EU4. EU4 type game, made by Paradox, I think. I'm not sure what it's made by, actually. Um, but it's like EU4 in space, I think. It's coming out, actually, on the 9th, which is shortly. I see you around, guys. Sorry, not too many videos these days. I have been taking a break. I've just been busy with work for for a week. And um, ever since I was busy with work, I don't know, when you don't play this game for a long time, you just kind of lose interest a bit. So I kind of lost interest a bit. Uh, I do want to get back into it. It's good fun. And I think they quit. So I'll see you around, guys. Um, yeah, have a good one.